Hey everybody, my name is Nathan Christofferson. I'm the worship leader at Harvest Time in Chippewa Falls. Today is day 25 of our 40 day fast and we are focused on um, the theme of go in the scriptures. And so I'm gonna be sharing um, a scripture that's really meaningful to me. It's one of the prayers in the New Testament. Um, I love the prayers in the, New, in the New Testament because they are incredible prayers to pray ourselves, to take the scriptures and turn them into a conversation back with God. And when we pray the prayers of the Bible, um, we can have so much confidence that we're praying according to God's will. And he says, whatever you ask in my name in accordance to his will shall be done. So when we pray the scriptures, um, we can know with assurance that God is going to answer those prayers when we pray it in faith. And so I have a, a, a prayer that I want to share with you. This is right from the book of Acts, Acts 4, 29 through 31. Um, it's an incredible prayer. The setting really quickly, book of Acts, there's been an incredible revival that's happening right now in the new church. This New Testament, brand new church, Pentecost has happened. They've been filled with the Holy Spirit. They're speaking, um, the God, they're preaching the gospel. They're seeing healing signs and wonders and they're seeing many souls saved and there's also incredible opposition to them and so they're going and they're going in the power of the holy spirit and now listen to this prayer that they're praying in light of the incredible uh kickback and the incredible persecution that they're starting to face it says this this is the prayer that they prayed and now lord look upon their threats and grant to your servants to continue to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they continued to speak the word of God with boldness. Boldness is a response to the work of the Holy Spirit in our life. If we are lacking in the ability to be bold, if, if there are situations where we need to speak truth, where we need to bring the gospel to someone, or we need to bring a gospel truth to a situation, and we are finding ourselves unable to find the courage and the clarity and the strength to speak those things, this is a prayer that the, the Lord has given us here in Acts 4.29, that we go before God and we ask Him for a spirit of boldness. We ask Him for His Holy Spirit to give us courage and strength. And, and the word boldness, I think a really important word with that, is not just that we're bold and we can just shout things out and say things loudly. We still say it in love, but we can say it with clarity and with focus and with purpose. And I think a lot of times we think of boldness as a, uh, a character trait or, or a certain personality type, a bold person. But the scripture can turn anyone into a, a bold person, regardless of your personality or how you talk or how quiet you talk or how loud you talk. You can have boldness because you can have clarity and purpose in speaking the truths from a place of love. So let's pray this prayer together. God, we ask you for boldness. God, we ask you that you would put a spirit of boldness on your church, that we would speak with clarity, that we would speak with love, that we would speak with purpose, that we would speak the truths of your word and we would trust that you are gonna stretch out your hand and you're gonna move in power, God, through our boldness and through our obedience and our love and devotion to the truth. God, would you just put a spirit of boldness on us today? God, I ask you right now and the different things that we face as we um, go into the world and we are your disciples following you with all of our hearts, that you would truly place clear words from your heart to speak with boldness and love and clarity. In the name of Jesus, amen.